Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. Um, this is CC's Apparel for those of you seeing me for the first time. Um, please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to do that and give me a thumbs up on my video. So in today's edition, I'm going to show you how to make a peplum blouse. It's going to be um, an off shoulder blouse. So without wasting much time, let me quickly show you how to do that. So let's go this way. Um, after gumming the lining, our normal usual four lines, the waistline, under bust line, bust line, and the upper bust line. That's the waistline. The down part is indicating the waistline. That is, I'm using the old stuff. So this is my breast distance divided by two. Then you have minus half inch from that, then you mark it on your under bust line and the waistline. Then this upper part, I'm going to take my shoulder measurement divided by two. Then from there, three and a half inches downward. Then you connect together. I think I have various videos on this, so we shouldn't have, um, I don't think we should have problem with this by now. That is the center front. So getting the side front now, I'm taking two inches from this point on the waistline, the under bust line, then the upper bust line. So you are going to connect and give it a suitable um, bust cup. Just like this. Then you slant it up a little bit. Just give it a little curve at the upper part like this so now you are going to cut it out so after cutting out this is what you are going to have then you are going to place the center front on the side front to get your normal your actual body measurement i'm cutting the whole thing together both the front and the back i've already removed out the center back from this other one I'm just going to cut out the same thing, leaving two inches behind for the zip allowance because it's going to be an off shoulder blouse, so the back doesn't necessarily have to be higher than the front. After taking my measurement seven inches downward for the armhole, now you curve like this. So, since I'm cutting the front and the back together, I'm just going to trim off the side front. I'm going to trim out like this. So like this side back now, you're going to leave like one and a half inch at the upper part. If you cut, if you make them equal, by the time you are joining the back, that side back will be shorter to the center back. So that is why you just make it a little bit higher. So this is the side front now. I'm taking it off. So this is the side back now, but mind you, we are not going to leave the cup part. We are going to trim it off. So the easiest way to do that now is just to place the center back on it like this. Just place the center back on it and just trim it off. You are just going to trim it off like this. It's as simple as that. So this is the center back and the side back that is the center front and the side front so we just place it on the main fabric then you cut out the same thing so after we might have done that you are going to join both the lining and the fabric join them together then you iron very well so i've already done that you join and you iron. Those are the front and the back, the lining, the fabric, everything together. So now I want to trim out. So you are going to place your tape like this and get your um, under bust from shoulder to under bust measurement. Then you trim out. <coughs> so I'm taking my shoulder measurement again. You mark. Then from there you measure the arm all seven and a half 
inches then you are going to shape it out again so just trim up this excess at this upper part like this up to the waist line so this is both the front and the back the lining everything together so now i want to determine the depth of the neck so now i'm taking eight inches from this part then from this other side don't forget i said it in one of my videos on how to make sure that dress this is the place that will determine how of the blouse would be so from here now i'm going to mark um three inches if you want it very half you can make it four or five inches so you don't want it to be that off then just make it two and a half or three inches so there's this other side this arm upper that will determine how half the blouse or the dress is going to after cutting out the the shape now we want to determine the front chest you want to get the front chest so you mark that front chest you take the measurement of your front chest like this anything you have here you divide it by two then from that point you are going to shape to this arm or part So this is what you are going to have take the front chest measurement and use that to determine how you trim off the front part so this is it after taking your side measurement i've already joined the the side taking the measurement i've joined the side on the i've joined the side together that is both the front and the back together so after trimming now this is what i have i'm having five inches here I'm having five inches here at the arm O level. So now I want to cut the sleeve. It's gonna have um, a very short sleeve. So from here, you are going to measure your your arm like this. Or let you, let me just say the bicep like this. Anything you have that you divide it by two, then you slant. Slant by four inches. Measure this upper part, make sure your slant is 4 inches. So this slant, this slanted side is where you are going to join to that arm curve, that 5 inches. So I'm taking my bicep measurement, then the round sleeve measurement, plus the little sewing allowance I'm going to add at this edge. So this slanted place is where I'm going to attach the arm curve and this is the sleeve length so having a short sleeve so now assuming I've already joined the sleeve like this together it's going to look like this I just want to show you how it's going to look like after joining so this is what you are going to do so this other straight part you are seeing at the upper part now is where I measure round that mannequin. So what you have there, you divide by two. If you like, you can just give it a little shape like this. Just give it a little curve so that it won't be just straight. Just like this. So the measurement I'm having here is what I measured on that mannequin the other time. Anything you have there, you are going to divide it by two. Then you mark on that place. That is that about the upper part. So now I'm going to cut the flay. If you like, you can make your flay um a 720 flay or maybe a 360, any kind of shape you want. I believe we all know how to um cut a cycle like this. 
you are going to fold your fabric into four then you divide wherever you want to attach you divide the measurement three times you, you are going to give it any kind of shape you want this other inner part that this other inner part that i trim out if you like you can make it round if you like you can leave it like hexagon like this doesn't really mean anything you are still going to achieve what you want so any kind of shape you want here you're flared if you like you can make it triple flare or maybe double flare or single flare like this depending on what you want so yeah, i'm just going to cut um a single flare here i'm going to make both the front and the back a little bit longer then the side will be shorter If you check, you see that the front and the back part is a little bit longer. So, do the same thing on the on the fabric. So now I'm going to turn it. You are going to turn it with the turn the lining and the fabric. Then you attach it to the waist of that blouse, that upper part. So after when you might have done that, this is what you are going to have. I've already attached the down part to the upper part. So now I'm going to take my final measurement. My bust, my waist, under the bust. They just, on that flip part, just go down straight. So I've already done that. This is what I have here. And now I'm going to attach my sleeve. I've already piped the upper part with bias. Then I join the my normal um actual sleeve measurement. So all is left for us to do now is to just attach the sleeve. So after attaching the sleeve, then we have our complete peplum blouse off shoulder. As you can see the, the front and the back is longer than the side. As you can see very beautiful. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.